beauties how's everybody doing thanks for joining me welcome back i'm doing another collab this sunday with amy miranda and marlene fab and glam over 50. we're doing an eye look using only three eyeshadows so if you guys would like to see what kind of look i come up with using three eyeshadows then keep on watching All right, so we're gonna get started and see my look that I got right here. I kind of messed up in the beginning because I just went right into the look and I wanted to tell you guys to please go check out Amy Miranda. Uh, I will have a link to her video down below as well as uh, Marlene Fab and Glam Over 50. Her link will be down to her video. Please go check those two beautiful, lovely ladies out and uh, show them some love, maybe subscribe and give them a thumbs up. So now let's go ahead and get into how I get this whole look. Usually I put a base over top to kind of smooth out the eyelids and everything um, when applying eyeshadows because a lot of times when you put an eye primer on, they, some of them and most of them are kind of like tacky a little bit and it doesn't help for you to blend too well. So, since I can only use three eyeshadows, sometimes what I do anyway is I use a powder, a face powder. So I'm using the Revlon Nearly Naked Face Powder. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into the powder and use it. Okay, I'm going to use some eyeshadows from... This is uh, an old Kat Von D palette that came out around the holidays. I'm gonna use a couple shadows from this palette here. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this blue. It's a blue shade. Looks like it says Bolotsky. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but we're gonna use this blue shade. I think what I'm gonna do with that one is work in the outer part of my eye. I kind of have an idea. I just want to do something different, a little more different colors. So I'm going to put that right here. That color of blue. I'm not going to um, do my whole face look. I'll just come back with the finished look and everything. Drink of my water. Okay, so that was my first shade. I think for my second shade, I don't want to use the one that's next to it. I'm going to use this one here, Sunset Boulevard. I'm going to use that on the other part of my lid. So that's my second shadow. Wet my brush a little bit and try that. into the blue shade real quick. Next I'm going to use from my sleek, my sleek palette. It's the Eye Divine palette. It has some nice bold shades in there too. I was thinking about using this one and then I changed my mind you know how you do so I'm gonna work with this brown it's like a it's a matte it doesn't even look brown on there but it is of a brown shade right there and I'm gonna use that up and through above there kind of up and through here this will be my third shade My 
fingers to kind of make this a little more intense right here. Crazy that that shadow's not doing what I had hoped. I think down below here, um, I'll work out with that dark brown shade. I'm going to grab a little of that blue and put there too. I'm going to use the candlelight highlight from Too Faced to do below the brow bone area. I'm going to use the lighter shade there. And then I will be back and uh, you'll see the whole finished final look. But those are the three shadow eyeshadows I used, two for my Kat Von D and one for my sleep palette. So I'll be right back with my finished look. All right, beauty. So that uh, was how I got my whole look. I didn't want to do it that way in the beginning. I kind of wanted you to see at the very end when everything was done and finished, but I kind of forgot to put in a certain part of letting you know about Amy's and Marlene's uh, links. So, and I didn't want to forget that. So I had to put that in there so you did get a little sneak peek then but yeah this is my finished look and I really like it I wanted to do different colors like blue some blues and greens or something like that and then put a little gold in there and it worked out really nice um the golden color shadow did have some fallout so I did have some glittery specks I had kind of whatever but it's one of her older palettes but I do really enjoy it it's kind of a fun one to play around with and do some uh all kind you know like uh, a nice soft look bold look so but yes please remember to go check out amy randa and marlene fab and glam over 50 like i said their links will be down below go and check them out maybe subscribe and uh, i had so so very much fun doing these collabs along the way with the both of them it has been a challenge and it also has been a lot of fun so i hope to do some in the near future with the both of them as well so all right, beauties, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much, and I really appreciate that very much. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and join me each week. Just click the subscribe button down below. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you guys take care. Bye. We'll see you then. Love you. Bye.